just wanted to kind of appreciate how beautiful the day is here. And these flowers are beautiful by the way. I decided to call them snowflower just because it looks oh my god bees you can see the bees closer hi everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome um so today i just wanted to talk about the books that i have read this october november and also the books that are in my tbr list japanese lover by isabel allende so this book i read it um the spanish version because i speak spanish as well so sometimes i like to read books on the way that authors actually intended it to be read. If you don't speak Spanish, you have to read in Spanish. You're not gonna understand the book, so it's better for you to read it in English. But if I have the option to, I would definitely read the book on the language that the author wrote it. I don't wanna spoil the book if you haven't read it yet, so I'm just going to give you like a very small description of the book, of what the story is about, and then I'm going to give you the review. So this book is mainly about two different people, two different women. Uh, one is Irina, she is a young employee of Lark House. Lark House is where you, where sometimes people put their elders to rest, or to spend their days there and the old people in that in the lark house they're very different they um smoke marijuana they are kind of creepy sometimes and irina she gets acquainted with this um supposed to be beautiful lady or very eccentric lady who is called Alma. So the book is kind of um, telling you the story of Alma and Irina at the same time. There are many contrasts and relations that uh, the author, I guess, tried to form between the two of them, of Irina and Alma. Now, that is everything that I'm going to say about the book, about the actual description of this story. Because um, I don't want to give you I give away any details when it comes to the review if you are a person who would like to read one the books that are where the two lovers they meet and instantly they fall in love full of passion and they feel like they cannot live with one another then this is a book for you you're going to love it it's kind of like a dummy love book um again it's not bad it's not the best one when it comes to what Isabel Allende has written in the past um, or after this book but it is very good if you like dumb or not dumb I don't want to say dumb but kind of cute fluffy stories about lovers who they feel um, a little too much a little too soon it is very atmospheric she has a tendency of describing landscapes and also situations very well. This book I got at a Barnes & Noble. Um, I love Barnes & Noble, who doesn't? And, and the thing that I like about this edition is that it gave me three books for the price of one. And it is a very comfortable thing to just get one book where you can where you have three books inside, but you only have to carry one. I am a person who's always with a book in her bag so it gets to the point where I have uh, four or five books and sometimes they're heavy so this is a very comfortable uh, thing to have so on um, when I bought this book it was before October because I wanted to read it for the fall season you know spooky um, and I got and then there were none I got Kirk House and Endless Night I would say that Endless Night is not so much as a mystery as it is a psychological trailer. I think that Endless Night was the payment to the um, trailers and psychological um, kind of suspense movies and books that we see now. Because it's not, um, it is not the same as And Then There Were None and Cook House. 
so a very very small detail not not so much detail description of each book so and then the word none is about a couple of people who receive a letter um, signed by a very mysterious person and the letter is telling them to um, go to a specific island or house where they're going to have a meet uh, a meeting so they all go to that house and when they get there the person who's supposed to be the entertainer or well the person who sent the letter is not there the only people who's there is the two employees who are going one is a woman a cook and then the other one is a person who is going to help them carry things clean the house and all of that so on the first night something happens and it is very mysterious someone dies and so they have to look to see because they are in an island who is going to find out who the mother is and why they're trying to kill every one of them so that's everything that i'm going to say kirk house is about um a love story this boy and girl they meet in Cairo, and um they fall in love i guess yeah they do fall in love it is very complicated because the book doesn't describe how they fell in love or how they felt towards one another they just start by describing what is happening at that moment so they're in Cairo and Charles asks Sophia which, who is the girl to marry him but he says that you know what let's wait two years and after the war is over we're going to meet and if you still feel the same towards me then we can get married so the two years pass by and they meet and he again asks her to marry him but Sophia says no at this moment because I feel the same that I felt in Cairo about you. I'm still very much in love, but my grandfather died and I only I can only marry you if the right person did it. The ending is so completely beautiful. I'm talking more about who the killer is. It's so beautifully done and until the last page of the book you do not realize who the killer is and even if you did realize it at some moment while reading the book still it is a surprise this is one of the books that you can read and reread so let's talk about this book this book is the roped trick i love the cover by the way this book was a book cover by i'm still grateful but i do love the character she has a quest to complete so after her father's uh, death she decides to go on a quest to learn the rope trick there is a very famous and mysterious uh, magician called uh, Ferramando and he is the only person who knows it. Um, so she decides to go on a quest to learn the rope trick and look, um, she's looking for Ferramando and on her way to him uh, she starts to meet people. One of those people is a young girl who is an orphan and she takes her under her wing. It wasn't a book that I completely in love with I, I don't think that I'm going to read it again I don't really have much to say about it um, that's, that's it <laughs> sorry so now we're going to talk about the bones shaker this book I love it for all of the wrong reasons this 13 year old girl named Natalie and she loves everything that has to do with um, machines um, and she lives in a very small town in Missouri and one day this guy named Jake Limberleg he gets to town with a bunch of all other people like with a caravan and she feels like something is wrong something tells her that he's not to be trusted and it has a little bit of mystery it has a lot of horror um, real horror and um, fictional horror as well it has a lot of adventure and one of the things that i love is that it has enemies becoming friends against all odds which i really like also it has a simplistic lesson about how to deal with bullies 
and uh, what to do with them <laughs> and it is funny also and one of the things that i love about this book is uh, the cover and the illustrations i am in love with the illustrations i mean look at that look at that the next book is the witches of dreadmore hollow and uh, this book is magnificent it contains all the things of a good dark and ghostly night story but it's funny so this 11 almost 12 year old boy named elijah he lives in a farm and he's a scary cat um he thinks that the farm the family farm is completely haunted and even on one of the first pages you can see how in one stormy night he gets out of his room even though the uh, family tells him not to and he goes to the family cemetery or a cemetery nearby he's witness of something that scares him a lot so after that night in a very i would say a scary and mysterious way um elijah's parents disappear the next morning and the two ends have to take him to a place called morning march and it is funny but it has again it has mystery it has adventure um elijah is a very lovable character because he would be like the shaggy and scooby-doo of the book and i feel like if we were in a movie we would be a lot finally this is the last book that i read um october november wise um it is end of the island and this is the third book of the anne of green gables series anne is going she's no longer a child she's going to redmond college and she's starting to have feelings for gilbert i'm not going to say more again like always uh, every book that Ellen Montgomery writes is very atmospheric. It is perfect for fall. This is a sweet, funny romance that shows the change uh, between childhood fantasies and the actual reality. And now that we have finished with the books that I actually read between October and November, we're going to talk about the books that I am planning on reading. Um, before the end of November just because I want to start reading new books for winter. They are not a lot But I have chosen some that I think I'm going to love the major of Castor Bridge and this book um, I haven't read it yet. I'm imagining because I remember the name that it has a movie But I have never seen the movie so I'm going into this book completely blind now one of the things that called my attention with this book is what it says in the back michael henchard an out of work hey trusser gets drunk at a fair and for five guineas sells his wife and child to a sailor can you imagine i feel like i'm going to cry with this book or maybe i'm going to go on a rage and hate men for all eternity i don't know um but i'm really excited about reading the this book the next one um is going to be a tale of the dispossessed it is a paperback some of the books that i have that i'm going to show to read is because i went to the library they were selling the books for 50 cents if someone is a librarian or works at one at a library uh, if you can tell me why some libraries sell their um books I guess I'm guessing it is because they get new copies, better copies. It has rugged edges, which I really like. The synopsis says in the midst of war, the protagonists of a tale of dispossessed are continuously searching for a promised land, a destiny, the face of a woman who has disappeared, searching for an impossible love, conversely, for a love that is. Possible. I don't know I'm going completely blind if you have read this book and you can give me kind of like a little bit of light in what I'm getting into I will very much appreciate it tender mortals so tender mortals is a YA the first thing that I saw about this book was the cover and how the bear the face of the bear 
is more like a human face. It says that tender morsels is a dark and vivid story uh, set in two worlds and worrying at the border between them. Liga lives modestly in her own personal heaven given to her by natural magic in exchange for her earthly life. The next one is going to be The Anybodies. This book is very curious. The first thing that I noticed is that the author of the books is called N.E. Body. In the back it says things aren't always what they seem, are they? And the last book that I'm going to be reading before November ends is In the Name of the Family by Sarah Dunant. Um, this book is based on the Borges. Borges are a very eccentric family from Italy, Rome, um, and I am in love with, not in love with them because I did horrible things, but with this story. It is 1502 and Rodrigo Borgia, a self-confessed womanizer and master of political corruption, is now on the papal throne. His daughter Lucretia, age 22, already three times marriage and upon in her father's plans is discovering her own power. And then there is his son, Cesar Borgia. Brilliant, ruthless, and increasingly unstable. I, I, I don't take me wrong. I love YA. I am in love with middle grade. I think that, I mean, Harry Potter is middle grade. So don't be judgy. I even love picture books, but when I find a book that is for uh, grown-ups like this, I'm really happy. I hope they really like the kind of book haul, kind of review, kind of wrap up of the month when you can always read 